a lot of the customers that we see using Spin Analytics, at least from, from our perspective, is the procurement organization. So the procurement groups are still our primary kind of point of contact within an organization. But we are starting to see, with again, the examples that we can draw upon here at Next Level, of groups that are, that are out in the field. Right? You have some of the engineering functions. You have those groups now within the world of, let's say, an oil and gas space where you have groups of engineers that sit between procurement and engineering right? that are now kind of uh, latching on to the spend analysis applications where, again, it's not just understanding where the money's going, but it's how do, how do we create additional value. Absolutely. I mean, it's really all over the map. I mean, I think on the most basic level, you know, looking at it from, from an AP standpoint, a treasury standpoint, a CFO standpoint, so not just measuring uh, you know, cost and unit price, but measuring budget impact for sure. But I think as it gets more interesting, you get into things like in environmental health and safety data. So all of a sudden, you know, the customer is broader folks in compliance, in legal, using a spend cube and using that front end to peer into that. I mean, if you go into a company today and you, and you ask, you know, where should I go to find, con to, to find conflict minerals compliance data, nobody's going to know, but that could be done within spend analysis which is something we actually, we actually just researched. But the question becomes, where do you track it? And I think, you know, as a front end, again, having one place for spend and supplier data is the place to do it. Now, you might find other folks in the business have got their own arguments, but I see no better place than procurement as that launch pad.